Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss a problem from the UBA online judge. Problem name searching for Nessie. In this question, the statement states that there is a monster uh, and like it is assumed that there is a monster in the lake and uh, this is a story you can read it but the question statement starts from here. So you have to find that monster in a lake. Given the grid of n rows and m columns representing the lodge, which is actually the lake. So n and m are between this, like these, uh, and uh, the dimensions can be this. Find the minimum number of s of sonar's beam. You must put in the squares such that we can control every position in the grid with the following condition. So you have to put sonars in the like lake such that you can find out whether Nessie is there or not. And for each sonar, it follows the following conditions. One sonar occupies one position in the grid. Okay, and the sonar beam controls its own cell and the contiguous cells. So, if the sonar is at this position, it controls all these cells. So, one border cell do not need to be controlled. The border cells do not need to be controlled because the Nessie cannot hide there. She is too big. So, this is one of the important lines. So, because we don't have to check the borders because she is very big. You have to find out the minimum number of sonars you need to put in the uh, grid. Okay, so let me draw a grid, small grid, to make the question more understandable to you. The the trick in this question can be because she cannot hide on the corners or like on the borders, you don't have to scan there. So if the dimension is this such that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 columns. You don't have to search in the borders. So just remove them. Like assume we don't have to search there. So decrease our dimensions by 2 on both sides. Now this is our most effective grid we have to search and we have to place our sonar such that every block in this has to be covered. I repeat because we don't need to find in these squares though the sonar if placed here it can find in these squares also but it is not actually required we just want to search in these squares but every square of this grid has to be covered okay so the minimum can be you can put here one and all these are covered so answer is one Okay, but how do we find out whether we need more than one block or two blocks? Okay, so because one sonar will cover like nine blocks. So for every every sonar, we'll see that if there's a block of size three, for every block of size three, we need one sonar. And if there's one more block available, so let's assume this is our effective search grid we want to find out and it has four columns. If I put one sonar here, it will cover these much blocks only and we must always have to put one more sonar. So the, the logic will be, we have to find out how many blocks are there of size 3 and if there is more blocks are still available, we have to put more sonars here so that we, it will cover this portion also because we have to cover every block of this portion okay so let's write the code now the test input is such that you are given the dimensions and t okay so let's start what we'll do is we'll take the input of t do a while loop I can take the dimensions in long long a b and then subtract minus 2 from both then we will find c which is a divided by 3 such so that how many blocks of size 3 are there in rows and then I will find how many blocks are left after dividing so if 
t is greater than 0 which means there are still blocks left we have to increment rc we'll do the same for uh, our columns now so the column will be stored in b so the b divided by 3 f is equal to b mod 3 and if f is greater Then we just have to output uh, so C and E, C into E and let's run this and then for this test case also we need to submit this. Answer. Let's submit this. For taking the answer, actually, you can go to my submissions. And it's accepted. Now, so I've submitted. I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, please mention them. I am posting regular videos, so you can also request if you want some question to be solved. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe button if you like my explanation. Until the next one, bye.